Weiter geht es mit Vampire, liebe Leute. Wir sind hier in der Leichenhalle und sollen ein paar Rezepte oder Medikamente besorgen für einen Patienten. Wir dringen weiter ein, gehen nach unten. Und ich bin echt mal gespannt, was uns dort erwartet. Es hört sich auf jeden Fall nicht gut an. Oh, oh Boss Time. Boss Time bei Prinz of Fest. Oh, fuck. These skulls can be so ferocious. I'm not sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. To drink blood is so tempting. Bin ja hier noch glimpflich rausgekommen. Sodium hypochlorite, dangerous to administer, but efficient in the proper dosage. Kann ich jetzt was herstellen? Gut. Äh, ich habe ja doch gerade eine Tür gehört. Gut, aber ich habe immer noch keinen Schlüssel gefunden. Irgendwo müsste es doch einen Schlüssel geben. Für die Truhe oben. Hier ist alles leer. Und oben waren ja noch weitere Türen, die verschlossen waren. Und ich habe überhaupt keine Ahnung, wie ich überhaupt meine Heilung benutze. Gibt es da irgendwas? Ah, Pfeil nach oben. Okay. Okay. Gerade gar nicht. Irgendwas macht das so Geräusche. Es gefällt mir gar nicht. Wo war denn die Truhe gewesen? Die war doch hier bei dem Toten drin. Da. It's locked all night. Ja, ist verschlossen. Dann werde ich den Schlüssel wahrscheinlich später finden. Okay, gehen wir erstmal weg hier. Ja, moin. Moin, komm her. Aber immer noch kein Schlüssel. So, da kann ich raus da hinten. Da kann ich auch raus. Das 
So, da gehe ich nochmal nach oben. Hier waren wir schon drinne. I cannot enter. Na gut, und diese sind immer noch verschlossen. Okay. Gut, da kann ich da nichts weiter machen. Da geht's raus. Da gehen wir raus hier. Geben die Mission ab. Und da gehen wir nicht. So, nehme ich diese Tür, wenn es geht. Da war ein kleiner Soundbug. Status Bezirk gesund. Äh, gut, da kam ich raus, da gehe ich rein. Schicht. Ist es der Doktor? Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I believe we're going to be colleagues. Reed? Yes, I've been informed about your arrival. I'm Waverly Aykroyd. Welcome aboard, I suppose. Does my arrival inconvenience you in some way, Dr. Aykroyd? Let us just say that I don't particularly share Dr. Swansea's enthusiasm for hiring you. What we need here are reliable professionals, not overrated dabblers. If you have a problem with me, Dr. Ackroyd, please feel free to tell me. Dr. Swansea has imposed your presence on this hospital without asking anyone's advice. The benefit of his position. But I don't agree with it. I know we've never met before, but I believe this hospital could use all the help it can get. You will agree with that, I'm sure. Oh, but I have heard about you, Dr. Reed. Of course, you can't say the same about me. Since I have not wasted my time courting the press. There is no need for such animosity between us. Don't you think the epidemic is already enough to deal with? That is one point we could agree on. And that is precisely why I want to be sure that you will be of help to this hospital instead of a burden. Since your tenure in this hospital is longer than mine, Perhaps you can tell me more about this place. Let's just say I'm tired of the carelessness around me. I have always respected the skills of Dr. Swansea, but over time his enthusiasm has become displaced. Carelessness? Exactly what are you talking about? We're here to save lives. The people who trust us are not volunteering for experimentation. They're here to be healed. I don't intend to run any radical experiments, Doctor. Even if I, as any good practitioner should, express an interest in pushing the boundaries of medical research. Modern medical methods were created through audacity and ego. But there are rules in our line of work, and they're here to protect our patients. Tell me, Waverly, what do you think of Dr. Strickland's enthusiasm for his experimental research? Strickland is playing with his patients' lives for pride and glory. Now that, sir is unethical. Are you thinking about something in particular? Harvey Fiddick needs delicate surgery. I believe we should stick to the usual procedure. 
But my young colleague obviously disagrees. And are you not afraid that your rivalry with Strickland may be blinding you? Rivalry? I guess you could call it that. But I will never be childish enough to let my personal feelings affect my judgment. Why do you wish to lead this surgery? I strongly believe that Mr. Fiddick should not be butchered to test an unproven procedure. I really hope you're right about this, Dr. Ackroyd. I'm trusting your judgment on this. I'm not the kind of man who runs away from his responsibilities, Dr. Reed. There is no need for you to be looking over my shoulder. I don't know what you've heard about me, but I have already proved my value as a practitioner. I don't question your skills, Dr. Reed, but your motive. Is it money? Fame? Or are you truly dedicated? And what exactly is that supposed to mean? I served in the war just like you. But unlike you, I did not use the wounded to play the modern sorcerer. Be careful what you insinuate, Dr. Ackroyd. I only want you to admit you used those men to improve your theories. Knowledge has always been and will remain our main weapon. And it has always come at a price. And personal initiative. It is not a question of initiative. It is a question of integrity. These men and women have put their faith in us, Dr. Reed. Yeah, it seems you have bad memories of your military service. I refuse to see this industrial slaughter as scientific progress. War only reveals the worst in men. We can at least agree on something, Dr. Ackroyd. Okay, where are you going? 2600. Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. I'm quite busy right now, Dr. Reed. Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. Wie kann ich die denn aussaugen jetzt? Okay, dann stellen wir halt erstmal so ein Dings her gegen Erschöpfung. Irgendjemand war ja erschöpft, glaubt, das war die Dings hier. Die blutverschmierte Tante hier. So, unser Zimmer ist hier hinten. Leichtes Blutserum. Die Dorothy. Na gut, gehen wir zu die Dorothy, die Blutverschmierte. Sie so gestresst oder wie?
Jo. Der ist auch erschöpft hier. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any... Ja, wie kann ich dir das denn geben? How are you? I'm okay. Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may, sir. I don't mean to be a burden. You are not a burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you have my gratitude for that. Er holt sich. Good. I have to go Perfect. now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. Ah, here's Sochti. Hello. Finally, you've returned, Doctor. Did you find anything of value? Yes, Nurse. You've worked your first miracle, Doctor. Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. Duty calls? When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, Doctor. When you've finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea in his office. He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. Dr. Reed, may I help you? What can you tell me about the epidemic, Nurse Crane? I've been out of touch since I've come back to England. Everyday folk don't know how bad it is. The papers certainly won't tell them. Not as long as the war is raging on, anyway. News on the front stated that the Spanish flu was under control, at least in Britain. It seemed to be for a while, but that was only last summer. It returned with a vengeance just over a month ago. What can you tell me about our patients here at Pembroke? This hospital was founded to help the East End poor and needy. But since the war and the quarantine, we've had all manner of folk. Can you be more specific? Well, veterans, the elderly, dock workers. We even have a few mental patients. If there's space, we take them. For how long have you been working here, Nurse Crane? I first volunteered at the Pembroke in 1911, a few months after Dr. Swansea was appointed. And before you arrived here? If you must know, this was my first job. Hmm. Well, Dr. Swansea certainly has confidence in your abilities. Are you in charge of the nursing staff? Not in an official capacity. But the Pembroke doesn't always work above board, so to speak. How is the duty roster organized? Everybody works until they can't. If there's time, they'll eat a meal and shed a silent tear. What about medical protocols? Dr. Reed. We don't have the money and resources here at the Pembroke like they do in the West End. We do what we can. Okay. I'll see you later, Nurse Crane. Hast du was Good evening, Doctor. How is my son doing? Ich kann dir sonst 
nix. Gebannt ich bin immer auf Stufe 1. Wie kann ich das aussaugen leveln? I'm quite busy right now, Dr. Reed. Ich muss den einen Doktor time. finden. We'll talk later. Ich glaube, der muss draußen sein, der wo Fusch gemacht hat. Kann ich ihn aussaugen? I'm quite busy right now, Dr. Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. Nö. Den kann ich nicht aussagen. Da brauche ich noch Stufe 1, 2 und 3. Äh, 2, 3, 4. Unbekannt. Ja, wo ist der eine Arzt? Du. No time for self pity. It is the last thing our patients need. Good evening, Dr. Tippett. Dr. Reed, any good news to share? Behandlungsfehler. Dr. Korn, I want you to tell me about Mr. Connor. How did he die? What happened? He was my patient. He died because of my mistake. That's the blunt truth. What was the nature of the mistake? It was a two-fold error. My diagnosis was wrong, and the administered dosage was too strong. Who was this patient? I don't know. Some sick man from the docks. Maybe a fisherman. I had no time to talk with him. No one claimed the body. Why not stop practicing? Are you mad? I killed that man, I admit it, and it won't happen again. I have saved so many lives since then. Okay. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. Wer ist das hier? Clay Fox. Ach, das ist der von unten. Good evening, Mr. Cox. Dr. Reed. Still working at night, I see. I like that. And why is that? People who don't sleep at night always seem more alive to me. More interesting, one way or another. Do you ever think about that? Poor fellow, I saw you push in the water. The wound he gave me will make sure I don't forget him. Still fucking hurts. Boss, it cut me good. What did he want? Revenge? I recently had to kill his brother. Poor asshole thought it would be easy to return the favor. Hmm. Only the strongest survive, then. Survival at all costs. Is that all you think about? I'm the toughest bastard you'll ever meet, Dr. Reed. And I don't give a fuck what you think of me. That man was determined to murder you. You almost died. What a surprise. The first time I met him, he nearly shit himself. Fucking coward. Oh, I guess revenge gives you balls. How is your hospitalization going, Mr. Cox? This is a shitty place with shitty staff. But as long as I'm treated all right, I'll be fine. What's wrong with the Pembroke staff? That bastard you sent to bring me here, Milton. I thought he was going to break all my bones before I reached my bed. I see. Any other smart comments? The nurses aren't too ugly. Especially that foxy one, Nurse Crane. Pretty brunette, tough attitude. 
What's wrong with the hospital? Come on, Dr. Reed. The place is a dump. Smelly, sad, and dirty. But you're alive thanks to the efforts and dedication of the staff here, aren't you? What are you expecting? A medal? I thought that saving lives was just part of the job. Must be an unsatisfactory profession at this time, I'm sure. How long do you think you can escape the law, Clay? I know this city like the back of my hand, Doc. I know its streets, who to pay, who to avoid, and who to bully. I won't get caught. We can't escape the consequences of our actions. The past catches up with us in the end. I ain't afraid of death. I don't hide who I am. I live my life honestly, which is more than I could say for most folks. And who are you, then? I'm the leader of the Wet Boot Boys. One day, I'll leave this shitty place and punch in the face all who thought I would not come back. You're lucky to be alive, Mr. Cox. I hope you're starting to take better care of yourself. This place is full of sickness and decay. How could I get better in such a dump? Consider yourself lucky that I'm treating all of my patients equally. But don't push your luck. Don't Aber play nur, the innocent with me. Möchte. I'm sure you have good reasons to act this way. And also, weaknesses that can be exploited. Seven hundred macht das schon aus. Nice. Hm. Ein Hinweis fehlt noch. Persönliche Frage. Okay, da fehlt noch was. <lacht> Gut. Dich merke ich mir, dich kann ich auf jeden Fall aussaugen. Ich werde wiederkommen. Unbekannt, wer ist denn das? Please, Sir. I need help bad. What's going on? I'm blight, Sir. Newton Blight. I've lost my mate. Can't find him anywhere. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. Please calm down and give me more details. Oswald and myself were both infantry, sir. We were en route for the hospital, but. Well, we had a disagreement. And Oswald ran off towards the canal. How long have you been searching for him? I, ca I can't go there. Too many rats by the water. Fucking rats. Can't stand them since the war, sir. Can't stand them at all. Don't be ashamed, Mr. Blight. Many soldiers who survived the trenches suffer from musophobia. I'll see what I can do for your friend. What can you tell me about yourself? I'm Oswald's best friend. We served in the same regiment, sir. Taking care of each other since we came back from the front. What can you tell me about your friend? His name is Oswald Thatcher. We survived the war together. Oswald is... nervous and quite fragile since we came back from the war. This is a dangerous part of town. What are you doing here? We were looking for the Pembroke Hospital. He... We both need help. T treatment, I mean. To get some sleep. Just need to feel better, sir. Where was your friend the last time you saw him? He went down by the canal. He didn't want to go to the hospital. 
I think he went to the sewers on purpose. So I couldn't go after him. Okay. Der ist gesund. Personenkreis ist der Doktor. Sieht zumindest so aus. Okay. Schauen wir mal. Ach, Personenkreis ist nicht der Doktor, das ist der Unbekannte. Okay. I have all the information I need for now. If I find anything out about your friend, I'll let you know as soon as I can. Thank you, Dr. Reed. Die ist noch unbekannt, echt? Good evening, nurse. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised. But I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. How are things here? Not good, to say the least. We're struggling against an invisible enemy, more lethal than any bullet from a gun. It's hard, Doctor. An invisible enemy? Quite a poetic term for a disease, especially from a nurse. Sorry, Doctor. These last few weeks have been exhausting. We could all do with a good night's sleep. Do you think this hospital can survive the epidemic? We are all volunteers here, and we're trying to hold fast, but... How do we beat an invisible killer? Some nurses have already resigned. I'm not familiar with all the staff yet. Perhaps you could help me. Brilliant professionals, most of them. Dr. Swansea has a gift for recruiting talent. Most of them? Is there a problem I should know about, nurse? It would be inappropriate for me to speak ill of a colleague. Nurse Brannigan, if you do know something, please tell me. Anything you say will be held in confidence. No. I may disagree with some conduct, but in the end, everybody is doing their best. Is there anyone that stands out? Well, I have never met someone as dedicated as Dr. Tippett's. He should be a standard for us all here. If only he were younger. Why should his age be a problem? I guess it's fair to say he's always pushing himself to the limits. He just doesn't know when to stop and get some rest. Okay. Gut, mehr gibt es bei ihr nicht. Call me if you need assistance. Dr. Tibbets. So, ich habe was über dich erfahren. Komm her. Good evening, Dr. Tibbets. Dr. Reed. You're exhausting yourself, Corcoran. Maybe you should think about preserving your strength. No. We must keep on healing all those poor souls. We are the last rampart before chaos. Once more unto the breach. Nurse Brannigan is worried about you, Doctor. <laughs> She should not have told you that. I will have a word with her. You don't have to blame her for her honesty. <laughs> I'm not that kind of man, my dear Jonathan. Actually, Nurse Brannigan's opinion is the only one I may listen to. Okay. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. Gut, an dieser Stelle beenden wir die Folge. Wir haben 1700 Punkte. 
Und in der nächsten Folge sprechen wir mit Dr. Swansea und versuchen nochmal das falsche Ziel zu erledigen. Diese Nebenquest, wo in das andere Gebiet führt. Bin gespannt, was uns da erwartet, ob ich dort weiterkomme, da ich noch unterlevelt bin. Aber wir werden sehen. Also bleibt dran und bis zum nächsten Mal. Vergesst eure Däumchen bitte nicht. Tschüss.